Hi, my name is Kweku. I am a pharmacist. In this video, I'll provide an easy to understand overview of the medication Repatha. I will talk about what it is, how it works, its potential benefits and side effects, as well as some important safety information that you should be aware of. And as in all my other videos, this is for informational purposes only. So please do not start, stop or make any changes to your medication without first talking to your doctor. So Repatha is scientifically known as Evolocumab, which is a human monoclonal antibody medication. Now monoclonal antibodies are lab produced molecules engineered to target specific proteins in the body. Now in the case of Repatha, it targets a protein called PCSK9. Now I'll touch on how it works uh, shortly, but let's first talk about uh, its approved uses. Repatha is prescribed for adults with a condition called heterozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, which is an inherited condition that causes very high levels of LDL cholesterol. Now, it often leads to heart disease at an early age. Even with lifestyle changes and statin therapy, many individuals with this condition struggle to get their cholesterol to go levels. The second approved condition is one called homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia. Now, this is a rare but severe form of inherited high cholesterol. Uh, people with homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia have extremely elevated LDL levels and are at a very high risk for premature heart disease. Then there's another condition called clinical atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. Now, this includes all individuals who have a history of heart attacks, uh, strokes, or other cardiovascular events, as well as those with clogged or hardened arteries, something we call atherosclerosis, that put them at a relatively high risk for some of these uh, cardiovascular events uh, happening. Now, in all these patient groups, Repatha is used as an adjunct or in addition to diet and exercise and the maximum tolerated dose of statin therapy. So it's not unusual to find people on both statins and Repatha. The, the ultimate goal of using Repatha in these patients is to lower LDL cholesterol as much as possible in order to reduce the risk of heart attacks, strokes, and other cardiovascular events. Now let's talk about how Repatha works. Now to understand how Repatha works, it's first helpful to understand this PCSK9 protein, I mean, what it does in the body. PCSK9 is a protein that attaches itself to LDL receptors on the surface of the liver cells. Now LDL receptors are responsible for removing LDL cholesterol, something we often call the bad cholesterol, from the bloodstream. When this PCSK9 attaches itself to these receptors, it causes them to be broken down, reducing the liver's ability to clear LDL cholesterol from the blood. Now, in other words, binding of this PCSK9 to the surface of the liver cells makes the LDL clearing functions inefficient. Now, this is where Repatha comes in. Repatha is a monoclonal antibody specifically designed to bind and inhibit PCSK9. By attaching to PCSK9, Repatha prevents it from binding to and destroying the LDL receptors on the liver cells. Now, with PCSK9 inhibited by Repatha, the liver is able to maintain a higher number of active LDL receptors on its surface. This allows the liver to absorb and remove more LDL cholesterol from the bloodstream, effectively lowering circulating levels of this harmful form of cholesterol. Now, I, I know I've said a lot, but in very basic terms, your body has a protein called PCSK9. If you have too much of it, your body's ability to clear LDLs is diminished. And in very simple terms, Repatha prevents this protein from having a fill day. And in the process, your, your body is able to get rid of more cholesterol. I, I hope that's a, a basic enough uh, explanation that you, you get the hang of it. Now let's talk about dosage. Obviously the dosage uh, of Repatha depends on your specific condition and how well you respond uh, to the medication. For most people with heterozygous familial hypercholesterolemia or established cardiovascular disease, the typical dose is uh, either 140 milligrams every two weeks or 420 milligrams once a month. Those with homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia may need higher doses up to 420 milligrams every two weeks. Now, Repatha is giving us a subcutaneous injection, which means that it's injected under the skin, not into the muscle or vein. You can inject it into your abdomen, usually except for around two inches or so around your navel. I can go into your thigh or the upper arm. 
Now it's best practice to rotate the injection sites each time you take a dose to avoid soreness or irritation. And, and the good news is that you can actually administer Repata to yourself at home or a caregiver can do it for you. But of course, you will need some training from your doctor first to make sure that you are comfortable with the process and with the technique. Now let's talk about some potential side effects. Like all medications, Repatha can cause some side effects. The good news is that most people tolerate it quite well. So you might experience some redness, uh, pain, or a bit of bruising at the injection site. This is pretty normal and should go away within a few days. Now, some people would also report cold-like symptoms such as a, a runny nose, a sore throat, or a cough. Mild back pain, muscle aches, or joint pain can also occur. There has also been reports of high blood sugar levels. So if you are diabetic, it's important to monitor your blood sugar levels once you start on Repatha and have a discussion with your doctor as to the best way to forward if you notice high blood sugar levels. Now, in rare cases, Repatha can cause some more serious side effects. Some people may have an allergic reaction, which can include symptoms like a rash, uh, itching, hives, or even trouble breathing. Now, if you experience any of these more serious side effects, it's important to get medical help right away. Just remember that everyone is different and reacts to medications differently. So just because a side effect is listed doesn't necessarily mean that you're definitely going to experience it. Now let's talk about some precautions and best practices. Now if you are allergic to rubber or latex, be sure to let your doctor know. Repatha is available as a pre-filled single dose um, auto injector called ShockClick and also a pre-filled single dose syringe that can contain a dry natural rubber which is a derivative of latex. So if you are allergic to latex, let your doctor to know so that you can you guys can plan ahead now if you're pregnant or planning to become pregnant or you're breastfeeding it's crucial to talk to your doctor about the potential risks and benefits of repatha repatha's safety during pregnancy and breastfeeding hasn't been fully established so your doctor would you know help you weigh your options and make the best decision for you and your baby now i do trust that you found some value in this video if you did please give us a thumbs up share with somebody who may need it and as always stay blessed and catch you on the next video